Hey, to pick up where the brother left off, is we want to make sure that everybody understands who they are according to the Bible. Because we're out here to teach God's word. All right, so if you look at this sign, you can identify. So who would you be according to the Bible? Would you be a so-called African-American or a Haitian or a Jamaican? You, you, you are this. As we what would your father be? It would be Ju I mean, Judea. So you'd be Judah, right? Yeah. Your father. What about you? What was your father? Is he a so-called uh, African-American? Or would he be a Haitian? Or a Jamaican? Or Puerto Rican? American black. So American black. So you would be from the tribe of Judah. So that makes y'all from the tribe of Judah. You know who came from the tribe of Judah? Christ did. Our Messiah came from the tribe of Judah, which is, which would look like that over there. Not this guy. All right, because that's not in the Bible. Get that for me, Hebrews, real quick. Just to prove. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 12. For the, excuse me, verse 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. He said, it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. So our, our Messiah, Jesus Christ, sprang out of the tribe of Judah, which, like you said on that sign, you descend from. So the same blood that runs through Christ's body is running through your body right now. Right. All the prophets come from the tribe, of, from the nation of Israel, all right? So give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. The reason why we're out here is to, to, to break down the lies that's been taught to us over these years. Right. I grew up in church for 28 years, never knew my nationality, never knew my history. My history was taught to me in school, and they said that my history started when we came off the boats in chains and shackles and butt naked and shaking. That's how, that's how our history started. But when we actually look into this Bible, our history starts all the way from the beginning. All right? I'm going to tell you what God said according to the Bible. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. Now remember, this is the part where we're in the wilderness. This is when Moses took us out of Egypt, and now we're in the wilderness, and he's dealing with us. Okay? So he's talking to our people. Verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. So he said, thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. Speaking of the 12 tribes of Israel, all of us out here, right? Read that again. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. So what does holy mean? The word holy means to be separate and set apart. Okay? So he said we are a separate and set apart people unto the Lord thy God. Go ahead. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. He chose the nation of Israel to be a special people. Special. Just like, for example, if you got a special outfit that like, you like to wear or something that you set aside from everything else. That's what God said about the nation of Israel. Go ahead. To be a special people unto himself. Unto himself. All right. So that means that we are pos we are his possession. Go ahead. Above. It says above. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So there is no equality according to the Bible. Right. The Most High God said he took the nation of Israel and put us on top of every other nation. That's right. So the notion that we're all equal and that God loves everybody is destroyed with that verse alone. God said he took us out of 18 nations. He took one special nation and made him his. And he's going to deal with us and us only. Give me Amos 3 and 1 real quick. Sure. To prove that. Because like he was going over the curse with y'all how if we break the commandments, we're going to be in the condition that we're in. Like, I'm not from around here, but I come out here sometimes, but we live in these communities, like, all across the world. You go to Richmond, you go to uh, Chicago, you go to Detroit, anywhere. You go across in South America, the Faye Bellas, our people, they, they, they populate the ghettos. You don't find other nations dwelling in those, in those um, areas. It's mostly our people. That's because we broke the laws of God. Read that. Hey, most chapter 3, verse 1. It is word that the Lord hath spoken against you, O children of Israel. So the Lord spoke this word against who? There you go. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. So remember, we are the same people. We descend from the same people that was in Egypt. All right? That's what he's saying right here. Say, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. He said, you you children of Israel are the only family that I've known hmm. out of all the other nations. All right, go ahead. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. So that's why we're being punished. Hmm. So if any other nation goes out and buys on the Sabbath, they're not supposed to do it, but who gets punished for it? We do. We do. Exactly. That's what the Most High is saying. Keep going. Is it? Verse 3. Verse 3. Can two walk together except they be agreed? So can we walk together with all these other nations that continue to break the laws of God, that keep us in this oppression? We're supposed to come out of that, all right? Now, sis, what color is your hair? 
Okay, Leviticus 13. That's why I wanted that verse. Can two walk together? Now, we we was taught these things in this community. Like, what's your hair? Is it natural? No, not the color. But the but the texture is right. You kept that. All praises. You got the natural hair too. Now just the color. Let me get you on the color real quick. I'm gonna show you something because we was taught that. Mm -hmm. The book of Leviticus chapter 13 verse 30. Then the priest shall see the plague, and behold, if it be in sight deeper than the skin, and there be in it a yellow thin hair. So he said, this is this is going back to the beginning. A yellow thin hair. What would we call that? Blonde, right? Now, what nation of people is known for having blonde hair? So, who's ruling this world right now? Because they push that image on us. That blonde is a good thing. That's if you want to be it. If you want to be the it, the it girl or whatever, you have to have blonde hair, blonde straight hair. Go ahead and get that thing all permed out and everything, right? But read that again. Verse thirty. Then the priest shall see the plague, and behold, if it be in sight deeper than the skin. And there be in it a yellow thin hair. Then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. That is said to be unclean. Mm. But the other nations know that. But they, they already unclean. So they try to push that on us. Because again, if we do that, what happens to us? We still get punished. We get punished for it. <laughs> so since I say that to say this, your texture is great. You got the natural texture. It's beautiful. But we have to come out of trying to look like the other nations. We can't walk with them. Like we said, because we're separate, set apart people from all the other nations. So that's why we had to clean ourselves up. That's another law. So once you get home, once you get home, just go ahead and wash it out, sis, because your hair is beautiful the way it is. That's right. right. The way it is. You got the nice brown hair. It's beautiful the way it was. God made us a certain way. We had to love ourselves. Our people are downtrodden. We were taught by these other nations that we're trash, and we believe it. And it's prevalent in our communities. Like, look, for example, brother over there was sitting there smoking a cigarette. He's already in it. he's already wrong for smoking a cigarette, but then he takes the cigarette and flicks it out on, on the ground. Trash cans right there all over the place, but he flicks it on the ground. Now, I'm not I'm not from around here, so I don't know the good parts around here, but from my neighborhood, the nice parts, they don't have trash on the ground. Right. You don't see this kind of stuff. You don't see prostitution. You don't see that everybody hanging on the street corner selling drugs and carrying on like that. It's only in our communities because they like it like that. As long as we're at the bottom not keeping the laws of God, we're going to stay in this position. They don't want you to be on top because they know once, they, once we get on top, we're not giving it back. Once, we, once Christ comes back and take this whole world back, we're not giving it up no more. That's we're right. Be righteous. That's what right. you got for me? It is a dry skull, even a leprosy. A leprosy. That's what it's talking about. It's a leprosy. Because you know, our skin color, our melanin is, is, a, is a badge of honor because God gave that to us. We was made from the dust of the ground. It is a dry skull, even a leprosy upon the head or beard. Or the beard. So that's why when you see certain things, man, we have to come out of these ways of the, of the, of the other nations. Because they taught us these things. They taught you that uh, straighten your hair and, and perm it out is a good thing. What's wrong with your wool? The wool is beautiful. Think about this for a second. All the other nations have their hair just hanging. It's dead. It's like no life to it. It's only, only so many styles you can have. But with the hair that we got, we can do whatever. My hair grows out. Look, it grows outwards. It doesn't just drop. No, no, it has life. That's what God is telling you. We're about life. Right. That's why God made us separate. All right. Now give me uh, Joel real quick. Joel 2. To, uh, to, to prove the point. Hey, my brother, what's your name? His name's Malachi. Malachi, Malachi. Nice name. It's a beautiful name. Hey, bro, what tribe would you be from? What would your father be according to the Bible? Would it be a so-called African-American or a Haitian, Jamaican? Judah. Judah, all praises. Please. Christ came from that tribe. He descends from that tribe. So the same blood that's run through his veins runs through yours. You're a special people unto the Lord thy God. Now read this for me. What well, right now we're teaching history according to the Bible. We're teaching that God said that the nation of Israel is above all people. Joel chapter 2 verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. So he said, I am in the midst of who? Who's, who's in the midst of? Thank you, sir. All praise. Go ahead. That I am in the midst of Israel. And that I am the Lord, your God. Your God. I am your God. So right there, we got to get away from the whole notion that he's everybody's God. Yes, sir. He just Thank told you whose God he is. He said, I'm the Lord, your God. He's not talking to the Chinese, the East Indian, the Hawaiian, the, uh, the Persians. He's not talking about them. He said, he's the Lord, your God. Go ahead. And none else. And none else. 
give me Malachi 3 and 6. Because here's another notion that things change. Oh, God changed his mind. If God changed his mind, we in trouble. Yes, sir. He's a he's an all-powerful, right? If he can change his mind, he, oh, I messed up. If God can mess up, we in trouble. There's no point in serving a guy that's, that's um, not flawless. Go ahead. Malachi chapter 3, verse 6. For I am the Lord. I change not. He said, uh, what? I change not. So God said, he's the Lord, your God and nothing else. So according to that verse, he didn't change that. Nowhere in the scripture does God change. God never said, I'm going to accept the other nations. God made you to rule over the other nations. He didn't make you to be equal. That's he right. said, if you keep my commandments, you will rule over all the other nations. That's right. If you break my commandments, you will be subservient to all the other nations. Right. It's just that simple. It's cut and dry. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.